Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Meg, and yes, I'm sick again. <laughs> it seems I'm sick all the time. I wanted to share this video with you today because this set turned out so beautiful and I can't wait for you to see it. So let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Meg, and if you're new here, welcome. Today I am giving this desk set a makeover. It is a coat rack, a child's desk, and a chair. This set is solid wood. There are also um, a dresser, two dressers, I think, that went with this set as well, and a mirror. So, no, sorry, a, a dresser and a side table, which I will be doing later on another video. This set is solid wood through and through. <laughs> It has been in my friend's family probably like since they were kids, over 20 years old. And it is a beautiful set. It is a beautiful set, but they would like their child to have this set now and they would like it painted. So I said I would do that. I had some ideas for this set, so I was excited to get started. On top of this desk, I unscrewed the back so I could sand the top more easily. And it's just a a piece that sits on the top of the back of the desk that you can put pencils and things like that in. Also, I took off the hardware as you saw there. And I thought what I would do is stain the top of the desk and then paint the back piece. So as you can see here, it's come off completely and it's so much easier to sand. And because this was solid wood, it really was quite easy to sand. It was coming off nicely and I wanted a little bit of wood grain coming through on this set. I think it brings character, but also because the wood is so gorgeous. And I painted the rest. So on the desk and the chair, there was a, a few little bumps where you sit on a chair, if you know what I mean. There's sort of a groove. So I wanted to go with that groove and not sand it flat. I wanted to keep those sort of bumps there. And so I went around the edges and I also used my detail sander just to get around the back of the chair spokes. I also sanded at the bottom platform of the coat rack. I thought that would look really cool, stained, matching the desk and the chair as well. Now I started off with 80 grit sanding discs and then I used 320. Making sure that it was all nice and smooth and then I went around the edges where I couldn't get to my with my sander with some sandpaper. So as you can see here, the top is all sanded. It looks beautiful. I love the wood knots in it. I love this wood grain and I cannot wait to sand it. I scuff sanded this entire piece as well and the coat rack and also the chair. And then I cleaned it as you saw there. And then I stained the base of the coat rack and the chair with gel stain. So this is Minwax gel stain in coffee. I thought it was the perfect color because my customers want these pieces in a medium gray and I thought the dark stain would look really good with that color. Gel stain is really easy to use. I find it's the most easiest stain to use. All you do is you get a cloth or even some paper towel and you can just dip it into the stain and then you run it over the wood going in the same direction as the wood grain and you can do as many coats as you want if you want it darker you do two to three coats leaving dry time in between I also sanded with the sanding block as you can see here and this is I think a thousand it could be 1500 grit but I wanted to make sure this top was super smooth which it actually did turn out really really nice Then I took the plastic painter's tape and then taped underneath and over the desk and I also wrapped up the coat rack bottom base and also the chair seat. That way I wouldn't get any paint or primer on the stain that's already nicely done. 
so on this one I had to put some green tape on either sides just to hold that plastic in place. As you can see here, I put the green tape on the sides. So this part was a little tricky and I had to, the only way I could think of doing this was putting the green tape in pieces all the way around the pole part, if, if that makes sense. I mean, I also thought afterwards I probably maybe could have taken that pole off, but I'm not sure. I didn't even check about that, uh, but I didn't want to get started on taking pieces apart. So this worked and then I covered it up with the plastic. So once that tape was around the bottom there, you can see I'm just adding the plastic. I put one part of it on one side and then I did the other side. Now the chair, I had to do the same thing. I just put some green tape pieces around the edges because otherwise the painter's tape plastic wouldn't be able to uh, go around those chair spokes. So I did this for both of the areas. Once I had done that and everything was covered, it was time to prime. I did about two coats of this primer and I sanded in between each coat with 220 grit sanding paper. And then the paint I went, I sanded with a thousand grit sanding block. As you can see here, I'm just using the block to, oh, no, with sandpaper wrapped around it. I like to use it that way. And that is the 220 grit sanding paper on the block. And so I did that in between every coat of primer, making sure all the surfaces were nice and smooth. With chairs, it's a really good idea to, once the paint has or primer has dried, that you get underneath as well. Sometimes you miss spots and areas underneath a chair when it's standing upright. So this way I just leaned it back and then sprayed underneath.
once I had sanded with the 220 grit, it was time to paint. And this is a gray color, it's a medium gray, and it's called Pebble Beach by Country Chic Paint, and I'll put that in my description. I did about three coats of the paint. Making sure that I got underneath the rim there and underneath the leg parts as well. Then it was time to spray the chair. I had already sprayed the coat rack. I used to hate painting chairs. I still don't like painting chairs, but it is easier to paint chairs with a sprayer rather than the brush. So here is how they are looking so far. The paint is just drying. And then I took off all the plastic, off all of the surfaces, and then started to top coat. And I'm using Cottage Paints Varnish in Satin. I also sanded on the top in between coats of top coat with 2000 grit sanding block. I did the same with the chair and the coat rack and they were really starting to come together. So I also top coated the desk and the coat rack and I did about two to three coats of the top coat, sanding in between with 2000 grit sanding block or 1500 will do as well. So here's what the set looked like before and the owner wanted a new look for their son and they also provided the Lego hardware. Now I, in the final pictures I did two sets of hardware with the pictures with the Lego ones and another set just so that they could see what it looks like. And here's the set now. It turned out really beautiful. I love the gray with the dark stain and the wood grain on the seat and the and the coat rack and the desk look so pretty. I just love this. As you can see here, that's the video with the other hardware. And this is with the Lego hardware, which is so cute. It really turned out so beautiful. I love it. And the owners are very impressed and really love how it looks. And they can't wait to get it into their son's room. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video and let me know what you think. And I would love your support with all of my support links in my description. Thank you so much and I will see you next week.